I've just released a new tool. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, this is Omar Bafiki. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, welcome to this channel where I create game development tutorials and from time to time I upload my short films. If you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. So, a new year, a new tool. I wish you all a blessed and a happy new year. And uh, yeah, I just wish you all the best. And I'm excited for you guys to try this tool out. And I'm just going to give you a quick look at what this tool can do. The tool name is pretty simple. OB Search and Replace. And it does as advertised and even a little bit more. You can search, replace, shuffle and randomize. Let's take a look at how we can utilize these different features. First, we have search. Yeah, of course, you can search here in the hierarchy, but sometimes you need a little bit more control. So let's say we would like to select these cars and these cars are in different parent groups and they have this word classic in common. So I could just type the word classic in here and then search for, you could search for the game object name, the mission name or just the tag. So let's say we just look into search for the game object name and then contains, we're not looking for exact match and it's not case sensitive. So I'm just going to leave this unchecked. Search and select, you'll see how many total selected objects at the moment and it will select all of these objects. So you can play around with them, delete them or do whatever you want to do with them. But also you can replace these with a single model or a single prefab. You can just drag it in here and hit replace and all of them will be that new prefab. You will see when replacing it's still under the same parent. In some cases you would like to have random prefabs to choose from. So for instance you've got many trees or many rocks or airplanes. So you can just drag up to 100 prefabs just gonna click update array and I'm gonna assign the other two here and hit replace and you will see that these cars are being replaced. You also have two options rotation source keep current values or you can use the prefabs value and the same thing for the scale. Let's say we're using the prefabs values this time and you'll see the difference all of them are very huge so I'm just gonna control Z yeah this is another good thing you can undo all the actions you make and also you can use okay I'm just gonna keep the current values you can use an offset whether global or local offset let's say you just wanna use a global offset and just move them slightly up in the y-axis with one unit and replace them. You will see that all of them have been replaced and moved up slightly. And then we have shuffle. You could just shuffle the position, rotation or scale or even all three of them. So now it looks like I'm not doing anything but they're actually being shuffled. So if I deselect position and just shuffle the rotation look what happens and if I leave position only it shuffles through them and then finally we have randomize let's say you want to have a bit of differences in the scale and you have relative or absolute absolute of course will give the exact numbers you're going to type in in here it's going to generate a random vector 3 and assign that as the scale but we don't want that, we want a relative value and unified axes, so we don't have to type the number three times. So I want it to be between 80% of the current one or 1.1 1 .1 of the current size. And hit randomize. And you can see the cards are changing. And you can do the same for position, rotation, and so on. And one last example, let's say we've got these cards over here you can just select them all and you can just shuffle through them till you have the 
variation that you like. And let's say we just decided that we want to replace all of these with spaceships. Just assign different spaceships here and hit replace. They all look big, so I'm just going to control Z. And for the scale, I'm going to use the prefabs values. And you will see that we have more appropriate sizes. I can go to randomize again and go from 50% to 70% to of the current size. And I'm going to just shuffle them a little bit. You can even just shuffle the scale. And you can see you've got a randomized and more natural variation of the selected objects. And these are just a few examples of how you can utilize this tool. And I know that you are already thinking about the different use cases that you can use them. And I honestly created it because I face a lot of issues in these areas, especially when I'm going to a scene trying to create a more optimized scene and you would like to replace a lot of objects with the new optimized model and in some cases prefabs were not used or maybe they're using different names so that's why we have the search for mesh name and that's it for this video it was just an announcement for the tool hopefully in the future i'll be creating more videos giving optimization tips and how to create more variations and stuff like that using this new tool and let me know what you guys think about it if you have any ideas comments or anything i'm more than happy to answer your questions i'll leave a link to the tool in the description below and also you can join our discord server to discuss and again happy new year wish you a happy and a blessed year full of success this is omar bafaki thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye-bye.